Hi everyone, I'm driving 12.3.3 supervised version. So it's much more advanced. Previous, all the versions were with the beta Real version. Turn left on to but this one is supervised. So there is a lot of improvement. That's what I heard. So I just want to test it. How much improvement is there with this Tesla FSD? And uh, Elon Musk just mentioned that it's a. Uh, they are going to launch robot taxis soon so this will be a good test to see if robot taxis are going to work so they, these are the speed limits it's a speed limit is 25 there is a stop sign here so it is going to stop here and uh, look for other cars if the cars are clear then it will start driving so it's 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 going pretty neat uh, it used to go to the right side of the road but now with this new version it stays in the middle of the road and it drives pretty smoothly so there are some cars parked on the side so i just want to see how it drives around the car uh, pretty neat yeah it drives neatly and the graphics are pretty good now uh, graphics wise i mean you can see each and every car even there are car parked on the outside you can see those cars so it's pretty neat graphics now for this particular version tesla has improved the uh, camera system pretty drastically i mean uh, i used to drive car with uh, 11.4 version of my in uh, this FSD. Feet, turn right and, uh, onto Littleton Road. Their camera system was pretty blurred camera system. It's the same camera, they did not change the camera, but they just updated the now turn right onto whatever Littleton software. Road. So now it is going to take right here. So there is a stop sign here. So it will uh, wait and see for the incoming traffic from the other side. And once it is clear, then it should drive. So there is a heavy traffic uh, from the other side. So let's see how it drives. So now it is clear. So still there is a car coming. Yeah. So if I were to drive this one, it's the same thing. I would have waited for these cars to clear. And that's what Tesla did. So uh, pretty neat. And uh, if you look at my in previous versions, feet, take the interstate. The there were a lot of problems at this intersection. Uh, Tesla could not able to figure it out how to take the right turn. Now and take now the with this new system, I mean, they had uh, been updating uh, this Tesla FSD for almost a uh, year take and a year and a half. So it's much improved. So now this Interstate ramp is east. The ramp then is, take the ramp on the left. Yeah, so this ramp is also pretty, a little bit complicated. So you have to merge and then you have to stay on the left lane. Now take the Interstate 80 West ramp on the left. So you're going to stay on the left. In 500 the, feet, take the ramp on the left. Now take the ramp on the left. So if you are new driver, I mean this uh, turn was a little uh, difficult. You have to take a U-turn and again merge it on the left lane. So Tesla did it very nicely. I did not see any issue there. So now this is the merging to the freeway. So initially what used to happen, it used to stay in this right lane. And it used to drive on the right lane but now it starts to merge on the left lane so that's why there is no issue with the merging and it's pretty neat if you look at the speed 65 65 is driving if you want to increase it you can increase it to whatever speed you want um, so now I mean I have to take exit after two miles so I don't want to go to like 75 or 80 because uh, it's not worth it so I'm just going to drive with the 70 miles per hour speed. Uh, but if you can see, it's pretty neat. Car is staying in the in the middle of the freeway. So 
one day on the, in the lane, in the middle of the lane. So it's pretty neat, I would say. And uh, there is a lot of improvement. I mean, I can see uh, it drives very like human-like. It doesn't drive like a machine. A machine can make a mistake, but it drives now like a human-like. Basically, it uh, it monitors the speed of the car on the freeway and based on In that one, one it will maintain the speed. Take exit 39 on the right onto US 46 East toward New Jersey 53, Denver. So, so now after a, a mile, I'm going to take the exit. So let's see how it takes the exit. So Robotax is just wanted to go back to the news. So Elon mentioned about Robotax is that's going to be awesome. I think it's going to change uh, the landscape for you know car driving and uh, also it's going to uh, take uh, I mean you can buy a robot taxi probably and then you can just rent it out and it will automatically drop customers from one location to another so it's going to be nice and uh, that is going to be very exciting for Tesla and I look forward to hearing that news on August 8th. Now is, take exit 39 on the right. That exit was, uh, it was okay as per this thing, but it was a little, I think, In rash 1,000 feet, um, take the ramp on the right toward Mount but, Tabor. But still Forest it managed Island. to take it. I, I think it was speed of like 65, and when I took the exit, it was 35. So, so I think, yeah. So, but it took the exit. That's what I observed sometime. I mean, when you take the exit, right? So if you're driving at 65, now take the ramp on the right towards to Mount Tabor. 35 exit. So there's a little, a little speed there, um, but uh, I never seen any issues there. As far as I drove, I'm driving it for almost like a year on Tesla FSD. Uh, so I have never seen any issues. So now this is a stop sign. We are going to wait and see. Okay, In 500 clear. feet, so turn right onto it. Indian Road. So please subscribe for my channel if you like. Uh, now turn Tesla right FSD onto Indian Road. Any of the news if you want to get it. I'm going to mention those news when I'm driving on Tesla FSD. So you will get the updates. So it is going to go to the parking lot, now so I just left. want to see how it goes into the parking lot. Mm -hmm. 